Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the derivative of this function using the limit process, or in other words, the definition of the derivative. So the formula we're going to use is the following. So f prime of x, the derivative of f at x, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of what's called the difference quotient. That's what this piece is called. It's f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. This is called the difference quotient. Okay, so all we have to do is work this out, and we'll have uh, the answer. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. So let's see, f of x plus h. So f of x is 8. So no matter what you put here, you're always going to get 8. There's no variable here. So in particular, f of x plus h is just also 8. So this will be 8 minus, and then f of x, well, that's also 8, all divided by h. Nice problem. This is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. So 8 minus 8 is simply 0. So you have 0 over h. And so this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. So 0 over h is just 0. So the limit as h approaches 0 of 0, well, it's a constant. So you just get 0. And that would be the answer. That's the derivative of 8. Intuitively, that should make sense. If you look at the graph of, a, of this function, it's just this, right? This is the graph, f of x equals 8. This is the graph of this function. And so intuitively, the uh, derivative is the slope of the function. Well, the slope here is 0 because it's a horizontal line, right? It's rise over run for slope for lines. And the rise is 0, so it's 0 over run, so it's simply 0. So the derivative of 8 is equal to 0. The derivative of any constant is always going to be 0 because the slope is 0. Remember, derivative is slope. In this problem, though, we had to do it the long way, so a little bit uh, more work. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.